Hello and welcome to the introduction to the eGetaxonomy database. The eGetaxonomy is an open source database with a user-friendly interface that is designed to link traits and other parameters to the taxonomic system of the GBIP. The eGetaxonomy further allows to link different projects which creates bidirectional information flow between users, the eGetaxonomy and the GBIF in real time. The central model of the eGetaxonomy is the taxonomic model which includes a hierarchical system of taxa and link parameters. The model is based on the expanded GBIF taxonomic system. Parameters for taxa include ecological traits, identification characters, graphical materials and liturgy data. Information in the taxonomic model is being automatically compiled in a catalog which is publicly available on the eGetaxonomy website. After finding a taxon, any user can obtain related information from the system. One of the important building utilities of the eGetaxonomy is tabular identification keys or eco keys for different taxonomic groups. These keys can be used to identify GBIF taxa and custom morphospecies that were attributed with identification characters. All identification characters are developed in cooperation with experts. This way we are trying to facilitate interaction between deep taxonomists and ecologists. The eco keys can be a particularly useful tool for students, allowing them to get a basic taxonomic expertise, which we already use in our project. Probably the main advantage of the eco taxonomy is the flexible system of parameters that includes both common parameters across taxa and an unlimited number of custom parameters for specific taxa and projects. You can create any parameter you need and then use it. A picture and a description can be added to the parameter to make it meaningful for other users. Let us assume that you are developing and leading a biodiversity project. Using the eco-taxonomy project model you can create and manage your project inside the system. You can create a hierarchical system of sub-projects for collaborators and students and add general information about the project. You can define taxonomic identity of the collected organisms. Once being linked to a taxon, an organism will be linked also to all parameters attributed to this taxon in the taxonomic model. Vice versa, you are able to share your project data to the taxonomic model. Access to the project and taxon models varies for different user types, such as project leaders, students or expert taxonomists. You can configure individual access to any object in the system. The eco-taxonomy can integrate many projects at the same time and connect them to the same taxonomic model with bidirectional information flow. With the Darwin Core standards and quality control in the future, any biodiversity database may be integrated in the eco-taxonomy to create a large living catalog of organisms based on the GBIF taxonomic system. The eco-taxonomy database is being developed using Node.js with the MariaDB database management system that has a general public license allowing any person to use it for free. The front-end is also made using JavaScript. Through this combination, the whole system may be maintained by a single IT specialist. The database itself has a model organization. The core model controls interaction between client and server contains basic classes of tables and forms, and ensures safe data exchange within and beyond the system. The logic model consists of classes directly related to the taxonomic system, projects, organisms, and other database blocks. The API model allows the database to interact with external systems. For instance, the eco-taxonomy website. The code is uniformly written according to the system API, systematized by classes and includes annotations, allowing any JavaScript specialists to work with it. The code can be explored and downloaded on the GitHub repository according to a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial License. 
The database is operated on a virtual machine of Gesellschaft für wissenschaftliche Datenverarbeitung, belonging to the University of Göttingen. The database models were developed in 2018. At the moment, the database is going through a beta testing by students, postdocs and museum employees in the framework of the Collaborative Research Center 990. Follow the links, we have much more information and video tutorials how to use our system. Join us, let's do it together!